Hi, this is Style Marshall. And in this tutorial, I'm trying to explain how to convert Das strand base hair to Unreal Groom. Okay, here I'm trying to demonstrate how to convert the Deforce J hair to Unreal Groom. For exporting, we deactivate everything except the hair. Now we export as OBJ. Here are my settings. And that's it for DAS Studio. For hair conversion, I'm using Cinema 4D with the Onatrix plugin. Import is object, splitting to combine all and deactivate invert transparency. Now connecting all spline groups together so that we have only one spline group. Starting on Natrix, selecting hair form curves. And under guides from curves, I increase the point count. Now I'm adding the multiplier and I'm starting with 50 copies to get more hair guides. I'm increasing the spread root and the fluff root. So with the fluff ramp and the fluff spread, I can spread the guides all over the head. So there are no breaks. Adding an edit guides modifier Ticking select all to see that I have created about 30,000 hair strands. That's not enough, so we increase the copies to 80. I'm ticking select all again. Now we have about 49,000. Underground strands, we have to attach the hair strands to the head mesh. Now I'm doing my first Alembic export for the Unreal Engine. Importing it back to Cinema 4D for checking and further adjustments. I forget to change the width to Point zero one. Okay, now everything looks okay, so I will do the final Alembic export. Ready with Cinema 4D, now we can go to the Unreal Engine. Here I have a ready-made CC3 character with a black hair cap. Next thing to do is to import the Alembic file with these settings. After importing, we double click the Groom, now in Unreal it's called Groom, to enable the simulation. Don't forget to save. Drag the Groom into the viewport and adjust the location so it fits to the head. Here I give the groom a black hair material. Some more small adjustments. Looks okay. Oops, I have loaded two different grooms. One is from a test before, so I delete it. Now we attach the groom to the head bone. We have to go to the character physics to adjust the capsules, especially the head capsule.
if the groom doesn't react to the capsule, we have to do a rebuild. Okay, now we go to the simulation settings and open all menus. First thing I'm doing here is to change the stiffness scale from root to tip. Now I'm changing the band stiffness parameter to change the stiffness of the groom. Some more adjustments to the hair location. Now back in the character physics, we can adjust the head capsule and we can directly see how the groom reacts. Now I'm loading an animation for checking the groom physics. Okay, this could be better. So let's change some settings of the groom. Here we can try out some different hair width or root scales or tip scales or even the hair length. What I like to do is to do a test render. You also could simulate in the viewport, but in my opinion, the groom simulation looks more accurate when you render. Okay, I'm going back to the physics and I'm changing some more settings. Also here the best workflow for me is trial and error. And again, a new test render. This I do as often till I like the result. And I'm also readjusting the physics capsules. I am changing the frame rate to 60 FPS. Let's 
last but not least, I'm trying different hair materials. This is the way I work with Groom, and here is the final output. Thanks for watching. La -di, la -di, la -di, la -di.